Welcome to the Rams Iconic. I'm your host and teammate, DeMarco Farr, and this is the podcast where I get to catch up with some of the greatest players in Rams franchise history. It's your chance for the fans. Take a trip down memory lane. Reminisce about some of your greatest moments you've had as a Rams fan. My next guest played all nine of his NFL seasons with the L.A. Rams in 1989. I love this. He led the NFL with 51 made extra points, which means you guys were scoring like crazy. Love to hear that. Uh, And uh, also... His 158 made field goals and 789 career points ranked third all-time in franchise history. I think that is Greg Zerline and who else is ahead of you? Do you remember? Probably Wilkins. Jeff Wilkins, my guy. Well, I forgot Wilkie. And he's one of seven, just seven barefoot kickers in the NFL. Please welcome Mike Lansford to Rams Iconic. What's up, man? Good to see you. I'm so disappointed you came up with a shoe. Is you came right? up with a shoe on. Yeah, let me see the foot. You I've know, been dying you, to see your foot. You know, for a University of Washington guy, yeah. a Ram alum, I expect way more width than you. That Why? Than you. Come yeah. on. Come on now. Yeah. I got to see the foot. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I'm good. Yeah. Well, it's... Okay. You got to go. show me. Come right. on, man. It's I little, went through the whole thing about barefoot kickers, and um, I can name two. I need the, the other four. Look at that. It's, oh, my god! It's not pretty. Yeah, it's not pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That is tasty. I've actually had uh, surgery on this toe a number of times. That's like broken beyond really? possible. Yeah. All from football, all from kicking. Kicking the ground on Wednesday practices. Kicking yeah. the ground. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay, well, yeah. tell me the story. I'm sure you've told, told it before. How did you become a barefoot kicker? Because I assume you kicked with shoes at one point, and then you went to barefoot. Correct. So I was at the uh, University of Washington. Yeah. Well, Seattle, Washington. Yes. And uh, at the time, you could kick off a tee for field goals. Yeah, right? they, that they thick platform. Tee. Yeah. yeah, and then when you're drafted in the NFL, they took the tee away, so you're kicking off the grass, uh, and it sinks into the grass. So that that's like a three inch difference in your swing. And most guys in my era really, really, really struggled making that transition. What was the guy from UCLA? John he, Lee. Yeah, he yeah. could not kick. Off the ground. He was a great kicker in college. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Correct. Same thing. So I had been. I got drafted by the Giants, cut, picked up by the Niners, cut, picked by the Raiders, cut. And, uh, you know, I had a fear of working for a li- living, so I was going to try and <laughs> I was gonna try and figure it out. I was going to figure it out, right? <laughs> right, right? So I'm out there kicking and kicking and kicking, and one day I developed a blister on my foot. At the time, Tony Franklin was in the league. He was like two years in the league, barefoot and he was guy. a barefoot kicker, yeah. right? And he was doing great. I went, well... Let's just try it. First kick, first ball, boom, great. Um, I never went back. Really? Yeah. But it was a blister. It was a blister. Didn't it hurt, though? It didn't matter. Didn't your position hurt? Of course. But I'm not kicking a football. Well, you're doing a lot of other things, too. So, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. So, the Giants cut you. Giants cut me. Bill Belichick cut me. And then, so you know where I'm going with this. When divisional round, was it 1990? You guys had to win up there. Correct. And you kicked two fourth quarter field goals to Correct. help the Rams beat the Giants in the playoffs. Correct. That had to feel pretty good. <laughs> a, a little bit of a little bit of get back. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, my whole career was a blessing. I was very, very lucky to yeah. even discovered how to kick barefoot. It worked for me. It doesn't work for everybody else. I coach kickers now. I don't coach them to kick barefoot. It's but, pretty good. But you can yeah. you can teach. With a shoe on, same thing. You, I teach with a shoe on, and I put yeah. it, but they always ask me, and I, and I explain it to them. Yeah, and they all love it. I wonder if it's if it if it makes a comeback. If I, I guess you don't have to with technology now, with the way shoes are made. Well, you, you talked about doctoring the balls. Yeah. Okay. So now there's kick balls. So these guys are out here just shaving the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, and they're they're allowed to. Yeah, yeah. And because you, you have the cable now. You know, yeah. who, you know, Matt Gay could probably tell you, and Justin Tucker tells it really well, and how they just brutalize the balls yeah to make it almost like a super ball you give that ball a stern look and it goes 25 yards you no just doubt. look at it about yeah so that's that's where it is now i'm not saying it's easier or better or whatever i'm just saying that's where it is. that's that's where we are wow uh so I, I i assume of course you follow the team all rams do we kind of watch what's going on um i remember when zerline left first of all greg zerline had the strongest leg i've ever seen you Remember when, we, when he was here? Of course. Yes. I mean, you were. I agree. As soon as you cross the fifty yard line, you're in range with that kid. Well, I remember when he was uh, when he made the team in St. Louis. I'm going to those games. Yeah, yeah. He was he was phenomenal. And he kicked the Rams into the playoffs in New Orleans. That that phenomenal. But when Matt Gay got here, he's the kicker now. Went to the Pro Bowl last year. I the first time I saw him, and you kind of get attached to kickers. I like kickers. I do. I like specialists. That's a lie. I'm dead serious. Okay. 
Uh, Jeff Wilkins, we used to be seatmates on the airplane. I think kickers are fascinating. I really do. I told you, I came in with Tony Zendejas right. and Sean Landetta. I used right. to just watch those guys. Sean Landetta gave me the best advice I ever had as a player. He goes, you make one play a game, for, for 16 weeks they'll pay you a million bucks. And he was dead right. Oh, yeah. But I, I, I'm fascinated by kickers. So when Matt Gay got here, I saw him as a replacement to Greg Zerline. I, I didn't want to get attached to him. But he seems like he has settled in and he's the guy now. What is that like for a place kicker? When you're no longer fighting for a job, it's your job. How does that make you better? Well, settled in. I mean, what do you I mean? Missed one kick last year and they won the Super Bowl? Yeah. I mean, so that's, that's yeah, I think he's in. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of difference when your teammates respect you and the coaching staff you know, respects you and supports you. And that helps. That helps everything. You're an unproven kicker coming out, trying to blast the hell out of the ball in training camp uh, situations like this. You know, trying to make a team, trying to catch somebody's eye. That's that's very difficult to do. But to do it under pressure, like Matt Gay did, like like last season. I mean, he's a big deal. He he made a big difference yeah. in in the in the Rams' offense. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'm worried about you know Hecker being gone, right? Because oh, Hecker yeah. was also the holder, yeah. you know. So yeah. yeah, we were talking about that with JB yeah. Long. I mean, that's 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 something you might overlook, but that's that's huge. That's huge. I remember putting my like kickers. We always give you stuff because you don't practice, you don't hit, or sure. you don't hit. You know sure. what I mean? But during a game, we all put our faith in that one guy when it matters. You know right. what I mean? Right. If you trust him, you don't trust him. So be it. You know, I said this is a great era to be in. The era you were in in Rams football, LA Rams football, was pretty special. You guys were balling. We yeah. we had a lot of uh, talent. We had a lot of fun. Problem is, the uh, little team called the Niners up up north. They yeah. were they were just a little bit better. You know that just that uh, we lost to the Bears in the championship game in '85. Yeah, we lost to the Niners in the championship game in '90. And uh, those are my two times getting close to the Super Bowl. You know, so um, yeah, we just we we just we nipped at it. We were talented. We were fun. We were really fun. We had a great group of guys. Explosive. I yeah. played with Willie uh, with Flipper Anderson. Oh yeah, our rookie year, tremendous. So we have a lot of overlap. Yeah. Yeah. Henry Ellard uh, was a coach. Okay. Love Henry Ellard. There you go. I told him he's my second favorite eighty. I got to go with Isaac Bruce first. I don't blame yeah. you. My guy. My yeah. guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, one more thing before I let you go. Um, you kicked nine seasons. Mm -hmm. Why not ten? Done or your body. Me, uh, I retired because my body. My body gave out before my spirit did. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of those guys that probably shouldn't have been a pro athlete. I started breaking down, you okay. know. I yeah, mean, yeah. everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, as much as arrogant as I was when I uh, retired, yeah. you know you don't retire. I mean, they just, they just quit calling. Yeah. <laughs> so, so at that point, I thought I could, you know, do I could still do it. But, you know, they were probably right. You know, I'd lost it. Rigor mortis was setting in. Yeah. Like so, Dennis Harry used to say. You go to bed all pro, and the next morning you wake up with rigor mortis, and you don't know why. Absolutely. Well, that hit me at nine years. So I got you. Some Michael guys, Irvin. some guys go to forty-five. Other guys go to thirty-two. Michael Irvin told me, man, I woke up and I don't know why, but my calf started hurting. Yes. Yeah. It just, it just, <laughs> There's happens. no reason for it. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. Just happens. Just happens. That's a wrap on this episode of Rams Iconic. Hope you enjoyed this conversation with Mike Lansford. I know I did. This is great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you would be so kind, go ahead and leave us a review. Let us know which Rams player or which Rams great you'd like to hear from next. I'm DeMarco Farr. We'll see you next time on Rams Iconic.